Uh, my name is uh, Lilia Hebrid Baidi. I am a PhD of Engineering Science uh, at the Department of Aerospace Geodesy and Land Management uh, from uh, at the National Aviation University uh, from Kiev, Ukraine. And uh, first of all, I would to like to express my appreciation to the team uh, TIP team of their support and opportunity during this difficult time. Thank you, really thank you. Okay, uh, let me introduce my presentation uh, to you and uh, I will start with a brief uh, overview of my research interesting. Uh, in general, technology of remote sensing is the process of detecting uh, and monitoring the physical characteristics uh, of an area by measuring its reflected and emitted radiation at a distance, uh, typically from satellite of uh, aircraft. Uh, basic, basically, the main uh, research problem I'm working on uh, is land use, land cover classification and change detection um, based on image processing and with machine learning algorithm, supervised and unsupervised learning. Um, in practice, uh, I usually work with passive sensors, um, which um, uh, uses multispectral uh, wavelengths and uh, which uh, include uh, spectral bands uh, visible, such as a visible infrared, long, long near infrared term and term. Images from this uh, system are free uh, to download and have uh, multi-year data sets and it's uh, great uh, when we uh, want to um, do long-term monitoring uh, some object of uh, phenomenon and uh, in my case it's uh, land use land cover classification. Um, example of uh, this um, sensor um, is a free uh, images from family Lancet and uh, now Sentinel and uh, Aster and Modis, but uh, it depends on special resolution. Um, uh, uh, currently, there are many sites where we can to download uh, these images, and uh, the most universal is now it's a uh, Google Earth engine. It's a cloud platform uh, that combines plenty uh, of capabilities uh, and amount of uh, remote sensing data um, for many search using uh, a big uh, high performance computers. Um, and that allow us to quickly and easy process satellite images. But we need to some uh, programming skill, uh, skills. And um, uh, every uploaded, uploaded images uh, needed uh, pre-processing and we need to move from digital uh, data uh, to physical units and we must do, uh, do radiometric and atmospheric correction and we get a pixel value um, as a surface reflectance. Uh, we can include a vegetation index uh, in our classification and improve the, our results. Uh, the choice of uh, indices depends on uh, our uh, research problem that we uh, need to explore. Of course, we can uh, also use land surface temperature and the digital elevation models with the various metrics um, and uh, for validation, it, it will be good to use some field measurement, measurements uh, of the ground. Um, nowadays, most researchers uh, focuses on using different machine learning models and uh, it's a good way because this approach uh, has the potential, potential to deal uh, with uh, big historical and uh, um, present data set using different algorithms. For, for example, uh, for my case, it's uh, land use, land cover classification. And uh, each of these uh, methods is accurate its own way and it's characterized um, by different settings. Uh, I mainly use in my researches uh, methods some support vector machine and random forest. Uh, after uh, setting all classification parameters, uh, we will get uh, look, uh, land use, land cover uh, maps. And uh, of course, it is important to assess uh, the accuracy of the classification results. Uh, and uh, uh, what about my best comparison in, in uh, ORCA-G? Uh, the content, the comparison and I make depend on my research interests. Interest. 
Uh, and in this comparison, I investigated uh, the accuracy of the uh, machine learning methods uh, used in uh, land use land cover mapping. Uh, I often structure the comparison similarly to the uh, structure of the article and it makes uh, more sense to me and I think uh, for the readers uh, in my research interesting as well. <clears throat> And in this comparison, I created uh, three a template for uh, a prop for uh, a property preprocessing to describe property preprocessing, accurate, and validation, because it's uh, more uh, simply for me, and it's helped me not to be uh, confused in for a lot of data. <laughs> and this comparison included eleven contribution. Uh, well, and, uh, body of. Uh, comparison. Uh, I always start with the research problem and with uh, a short describe about research problem. It's this time I uh, added sub problem because I created um, previously comparison about low classification based on spectral characteristics. It can be uh, connected and maybe readers uh, who uh, see my comparison about uh, accuracy of uh, look uh, can uh, also automatically uh, go to look classification based on spectral characteristics. And uh, after that, uh, I noted study area and I move it to materials. Um, uh, usually in my research uh, problem, in my research interesting is uh, spectral bands and uh, spectral ba bands uh, uh, which the um, and data set, and this data set includes spectral bands. I noted about uh, the name of this satellite sensor and um, about this satellite sensor. And uh, after, um, after I added uh, some information about uh, most often uses uh, satellite sensor um, about special resolution. Uh, which included a uh, panchromatic thermal and visible range and uh, some uh, value, some uh, uh, value about this because it depends, uh, our LUL classification maps uh, depend uh, of uh, special resolution uh, satellite sensor which we uh, choose for our research. Uh, after the most uses uh, satellite sensor is a Sentinel-2 uh, and I also uh, added information about this sensor um, because and let's add a satellite is a free download images where we uh, what we can uh, have it uh, and uh, temporal resolution it's uh, also important because it's uh, um, parameters or characteristics uh, how we uh, how often we can uh, have these images uh, after the next step it's about uh, source of download uh, satellite images uh, I noted about this uh, and when readers uh, see my comparison uh, they can uh, see what is the source of material um, and after uh, and uh, I know the time interval I, I use it for this uh, template. Oui. Uh, next step is image processing. Uh, as I um, said before, it's very important processing and uh, of this processing depend our uh, uh, our future maps classification, accuracy of our future classification. And and, um, and I noted about this step by step, uh, radiometric, atmospheric uh, and uh, surface reflectance, about what, about spectral channels we do this, uh, and uh, what the section we investigated, it's an optical section. Um, okay, I use for this template, it's very easy. Uh, the next step is uh, about method, which method uh, authors, uh, author, authors uh, uses uh, in this article. And uh, some, 
I devise uh, this uh, supervised classification, these methods uh, as type uh, for this. And uh, all these methods have uh, accuracy, accuracy and uh, um, setting parameters. And uh, uh, I noted about this uh, <clears throat> from temp uh, during template uh, accuracy. Uh, and some uh, authors um, for improving for improved classification added uh, index index based technicals, and I also. Um, Added informational about this. And uh, testing and training set uh, some uh, articles uh, uh, tell us uh, uh, with these uh, parameters depend uh, also accuracy of our future uh, classification. And of course, I noted about type of SOAP fair. Uh, the next step is a result. Our um, my comparison. Uh, the main results. Our comparison. My comparison is uh, classes. Classes of land use, land cover, and uh, which method the best method uh, give us these classes. And uh, uh, sometimes authors uh, compare. Uh, the uh, zero results with uh, uh, sometimes with di between different sensors and sometimes with other methods. Uh, and I noted about this uh, because in sim it is what it was it will be important for uh, future readers. Um, and uh, I added um, research like conduct valid valid validation. Uh, which uh, type of classes are more highest accuracy from the best methods or uh, which type of uh, land uh, low classification uh, have a lowest accuracy classification based on these best methods. Uh, well, um, okay. And uh, I create a visualization because the, the research problem is uh, accuracy uh, assessment about uh, machine learning algor algorithm and the most popular uh, methods that after used is a support vector machine and random forest and I compare uh, uh, their overall accuracy and we have this graph. Um, okay and uh, a little bit con conclusions. <laughs> But uh, I can uh, repeat the advantages of the ORCID platform for a long time, uh, so I decide to present uh, them on a general uh, slide. Thank you so much for your attention.